Turning next to developments in the high-profile legal dispute between Raptors President Masai Ujiri and a California Sheriff's deputy. That officer now dropping his lawsuit. This all follows an on-court altercation after the team won the NBA championship in 2019. CTV's Zoraida Allman joins us live with more. Zoraida. Nathan, the lawsuit was filed one year ago this month, a lawsuit that Raptors fans always believed was baseless. Video emerged to prove it, and now one year later, the lawsuit has been dropped. As the Toronto Raptors joyously celebrated the pinnacle of achievement on the court in Oakland, Raptors President Masai Ujiri was being shoved on the sidelines by a California Sheriff's deputy who claimed Ujiri didn't have the credentials to get on the court. Despite this body cam footage clearly showing the deputy shoving Ujiri first, Alan Strickland pursued a $75,000 lawsuit against Ujiri and Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment, alleging he was injured in the altercation. Now, one year later, the lawsuit has been dropped. Court documents filed in a California court today confirm the lawsuit has been dismissed in its entirety against both Masai Ujiri and Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment. Ujiri's counterclaim filed in August has also been dropped, and all parties are to pay for their own legal fees and costs. A statement from MLSE reads, Masai has been completely vindicated, as we always knew he would be. It goes on to say, we continue to be deeply troubled by the fact that Masai was put in this position in the first place and believe he should never have had to defend himself. And the statement also says that Ujiri is taking some time to process the ordeal and will address it publicly at a later date. I'm Zoraida Ullman. Michelle, back to you. Thank you, Zoraida.